Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a vlog today. Um, it's bank holiday weekend, so I just thought I'd do a little full day weekend vlog. Um, I need to get ready because I'm going out with my friend tonight. Um, we're gonna go for some food and some drinks. So I need to get ready for that, but I just really can't be bothered to do my makeup. I just so just wanna go out with this, like I just CBA. But I need to do my makeup, pick out an outfit because I have no clue what I'm wearing and I've got like two hours because I don't know. I should have started getting ready so much earlier but I didn't and I look so pale right now. What the heck? Anyway, I do need to start getting ready now. I'll probably film doing my makeup as well. Um, ignore the lawnmower outside. It's annoying me so much. But... I'm just getting ready. I've just done my face. I look so pale because I haven't fake tanned. I want to try get. It's quite sunny this weekend, so I want to try get a bit of a more natural tan. But I look so pale. But I've done a bit of a lighter base. I've just used um, my NARS um, Radiant Longwear Foundation, and then I used the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in with it. So I just used a tiny bit of the heavier coverage one, and then just used this because. It's like kind of, it's really sunny outside today and it's kind of like daytime still. So I don't want to do like too heavy. But yeah, I'm looking so pale and I'm not here for it. But yeah, obsessed with this roller in my hair. It looks so nice. I'm just using the Laura Mercier powder to um, bake a bit and then just powder the rest of my face. It's literally my favorite one ever this roller is just not staying on my head i'm hoping that it's actually quite warm out i mean i think i'm wearing jeans and a crop blazer but my first outfit didn't go to plan you know when you think so it's just gonna look so nice and you put it on and you're like no so i'm not wearing that but look up my room from me trying to find an outfit it's actually embarrassing like why do i not have the ability to just pick something up and put it away i feel like when you're stressing because you can't find outfit is just a different level of mess like i was pulling everything out of my wardrobe i couldn't find anything but i think we finally got um i really need to do a big summer shop because i feel like i've just got loads of winter clothes and i need to get some more okay i'm finally ready i literally could not pick an outfit to save my life like everything i was trying on i was just wasn't liking so i decided to just wear these cargoes from lux to kill and then this ribbed crop top from zara and then these heels from h&m but i've done my makeup like well like a little bit more natural compared to what i usually do i've just done mascara and then just done a lighter base and then put on some faux freckles as well but we're trying to figure out how we're going to get to the train station at the minute so that's the first dilemma but we're going we're going to get on the train i'm going to meet my friend and then we're going for some food at san carlo so hopefully that will be nice but i can't wait to eat i'm so hungry this is my makeup it's just got this brown liner and then my fake freckles and yeah it's a bit more light it's a bit more natural compared to what i usually do but yes, this is the makeup. I feel a bit weird without eyelashes on. But the rapid lash is really paying off. Look at it. They're so much longer than they used to be. Oh, this is stop. This is annoying me because it's keep stop focusing. <laughs> We're in San Carlo. All of the train stops cancelled, so we can't get a lift. Got our wine. Maya's got her wine. Oh wait. <laughs> They're like in so shit in here, what the heck? They're so pretty, we've got a massive, massive plant next to us. Oh my god, jam. I got prawns and Maya got calamari. Yum. We've got Maya providing the excellent lighting. <laughs> I got carbonara, garlic bread, and Maya got chicken and potatoes. Yum. And my wine of
everyone please ignore the state of me i've literally woke up about 10 minutes ago and i sound like i have a cold anyway i'm pretty sure i have hay fever because my mum's cutting the grass yesterday and i was just non-stop sneezing so i think that's why i sound a bit groggy but i'm gonna have a bath this morning do my skincare i've um recently got a new skincare routine so i'll show you that because i've really been liking it and i think it's helped so much like my skin's a lot more glowy obviously i've still got all my scars but they're not going anywhere anytime soon um so yeah i'm gonna do that i think i might be meeting my friend today um i think we're just gonna go for a drink or something and then i don't really have much planned i think i'm just gonna have an easy day i might go to the gym um my legs are really hurting from going to the gym yesterday though so i'm not sure about that yet and hopefully it's gonna be really sunny so i can tan today because i'm so pale and as soon as it gets to summer i'm just so over fake tanning like i hate the process of fake tanning and like when it comes off and i feel like it makes me like i don't know i just never feel that clean when i have fake tan on i feel like i just need to like scrub everything off but yes that is what i'm gonna do I'm gonna get some breakfast but i'll show you my skincare stuff now and my bath stuff oh i also completely forgot to say that um dirty martini was so good last night so we went to san carlo and then we went to dirty martini and it was so good like the music was so good in there and yeah it was just really nice it was just basically all girls which i just loved you know just good vibes in there um and we went to san carlo as well and the food was really nice there too so had a very good evening we didn't stay out too late which is good because I am the worst with hangovers, like, I just can't deal with them. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but, like, you know people are just so good at drinking. And then the next day they're just absolutely fine, like, no, I need, like, two working days to recover from that. And then I just need a fat takeaway, I just need to sleep and watch films all day. Like, I'm just written off for the whole next day. So, I'm glad I don't feel bad at all, which is good. But, yes, just filling you in on that. So I've just washed my face. This is the new cleanser which I've been using. It's the Aveeno Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin. I think it's like an oat cleanser. I'm pretty sure. It's this one. I just got it from Boots. I got it last week and I've already used this much of it. But it's so good. Like it's fragrance free and it says gently cleanses and hydrates to preserve skin's moisture barrier. Um, my skin is so sensitive, so before I was using the CeraVe Sicilic Acid Cleanser, I think. Um, and it was just stripping my skin quite a bit, like I feel like it really, really dried it out. Um, so I've used this and it's so much better for my skin, like it just makes it really smooth and glowy and it feels like really silky when you put it on. So I've been using that. And then I've been using, um, it's still in the Calm and Restore um like collection but it's the triple oat serum um so i've been using this and it's so nice on your skin it just feels so like smooth and hydrating um but i'm gonna put that on now i feel so like puffy this morning i think it's from drinking but i usually just put like two pumps on my face oh i just feel so like smooth I just love it and you only need like quite a small amount so I just use two pumps my skin is looking so red on the camera but it's not looking like that in person I don't know why I'm looking that red today I need to de-puff and then after that I just go in with my Nivea soft moisturizer I've used this for ages now and I just love it I feel like just nothing compares to it and it's so cheap as well i just put this on i love the smell of it it really like smell really reminds me of like holiday and summer 
I really need to get a face SPF as well, but I need to get one which is kind of like skincare too. Um, because if I just use normal sun cream on my face, I feel like my skin is going to freak out and break out. So I think the Roche Posay do one, which is meant to be really good, so I might try that. But that is literally all I do for my skincare. I do that in morning and night. Um, and then obviously I just remove my makeup with my cellar water um, if I have it on. But yeah, that's literally all I do. And then Elizabeth Arden, eight hour repair lip balm. I feel like it's so simple, but it just makes such a difference to like have a little skincare routine. And um, to make sure you do it like religiously because that's when you start seeing a difference um not missing days but my skin just feels so like hydrated and glowy after but yes this lighting is not doing anything for my scars right now but i'm gonna go on a walk with my mum now um i'm gonna take my dog for a walk it's really nice outside hopefully i get a bit of a tan today but we'll see We'll see. I probably will just end up burning. I'm not going to lie. I need to put something on. But yes, I will speak to you after the walk. This is my skin in the light after my skincare. So glowy. I love it. Good boy. Bobby, close. Bobby, close. So it's a bit later now. I think it's like half full now um but i've not really done much to be honest i was just sunbathing i had some lunch with my mum and dad after i came back from the walk um i've not really been doing much i've just been chilling out but i have been to aldi so i don't have any plans tonight which i lowly kind of love like i don't know if anyone else is like this but i just absolutely love spending time by myself like I just love it like I know that's a bit bad sometimes but even though it's like holiday like you don't have to have loads of plans you don't have to do stuff you just got to do stuff which makes you happy and which you will enjoy my neighbours are probably looking at me like what the fuck is she doing in the kitchen but so yeah tonight I think I'm just gonna um watch a series there's a series called five that my mum and dad said is really good so i'm gonna start watching that and i'm gonna cook myself some dinner so i'm gonna make a thai red curry with king prawns and i've got some rice and poppadoms as well so i'm gonna make that later um but i do need to take my dog on another walk so i'll probably do that like i absolutely love going for walks it just does you so much good like I feel like it makes you feel mentally so much better as well. Especially if you're not really doing much just to like get out of the house. Like I'm so lucky to have him that I can just like go on walks all the time. I mean, not that you can't if you don't have a dog, but you know what I mean? It just gives me a bit of extra motion, a bit. Oh my God, I can't speak. It gives me that bit of extra motivation to get out of the house as well. And also I've been out like twice today and it's so busy. I just can't deal with it. Like i'm not going out when it's that busy like no way i'd rather stay in my house by myself so that's my plans for tonight also i'm not really feeling the best i feel a bit like meh and a bit like run down so it's just gonna be a chilled night might do some more self-care later i really want to use my gua sha again because i never use it i've had it for ages and i've used it only like five times or something so i'm gonna do that as well but i don't think i've caught the sun at all today like i've not actually sat out i sat out a bit but i wasn't like fully trying to tan so I'm not really that tanned, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be a bit more tanned. Um, I'm doing a barbecue tomorrow as well, so that's fun. That's also why I went to the supermarket because they're all closed tomorrow because obviously it's Easter Sunday, which I completely forgot about. My mum said, she was like, oh yeah, you can't go to the supermarket tomorrow, by the way. And I was like, oh yes, of course. So I went today, got some bits. I also got this like smoothie mix that I really want to try. Let me show you. From Aldi. I think yeah I went to Aldi um it's a breakfast oat smoothie like in this so you just put it in I don't know how it makes but it's just like all ready to use you don't have to chop up any fruit or anything and it looks quite good so I'm gonna try that tomorrow for breakfast 
hopefully it's nice i will let you know how it goes but it's got like mango um, banana chia seeds pineapple and gluten-free oats so it sounds good I'm trying to be healthy even though i literally eat everything that i see at the minute and always but like why not do you know what i mean it's a bit later now you can't even see me because oh no you can't um i've literally done nothing since i last filmed i just feel not that great but i'm gonna make my bed tidy my room and then make some food so cue the time lapse and hopefully i'll feel a bit better after that oh my god the sun so my face what the heck <laughs> Tidied. I feel so much better for it being all fresh and clean now. Um, I've just got into my pyjamas, even though it's still light outside. But who cares, you know what I mean? Do what you want. Um, I'm going to cook some tea now and watch a film or watch a series, I think. But that is my plans for tonight. Nothing too interesting. Um, I'll probably still continue vlogging tonight and then vlog tomorrow if i do anything fun this is what i made for my dinner it literally looks like sick on the camera i'm not gonna lie but it tastes so nice and i do usually eat way more than this by the way it's just i'm not really that hungry tonight so i've got that my lemon water and then some poppadoms with it but i'm just gonna sit down and watch some tv for the rest of the night it's the next day now, um, it's Easter Sunday, not really done much today, we've just taken the dogs for a walk and now we're making a barbecue. Liam on the barbecue, we've got some onions, oh my god Onion. I'm a bit scared, it's going to be really hot for the camera. Oh. We've got chicken, sausages, we've tried to make corn on the cob and foil but I'm not really sure how that's going to go and then we've got steak as well. But I'll film once we've cooked all the food. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning. This is the barbecue done. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks so good. Yum. Pro chefs. We've just cleared up from the barbecue. It was so nice. Look at this massive Easter egg my boyfriend got me. It's so big. Let me show you how big it is. It's literally huge. It's like 
double the size of my head. It's an in well, and it's got the bunnies in, and it's got an egg. I can't wait to eat this. Um, we're just watching Five at the minute. It's called something The Five. I think it's like a BBC one, or no, not BBC. I think it's like ITV. No, it's Sky. It's a Sky series, um, but it's so good. I'm on episode four. Liam's just catching up to then. And then we're going to watch the rest tonight, but it's so good. Literally, if you need anything good to watch, watch that, because that's the best thing I've watched in ages. And I'm not even at the end of it now. Like, I'm not even at the end. There's still so many more episodes. But, yes, we're going to do that. And then I might vlog a bit later. I don't really think we'll do anything that exciting. Probably just go on and take the dogs on another walk as always but yeah that's about it i will catch up with you maybe tomorrow if we do anything exciting but yes I'll speak to you in a bit um it's bank holiday monday and we're going to the cinema in a bit we're going to watch something called mincemeat is that what it's called yeah i think so mincemeat no operation mincemeat. operation mincemeat it's about the war but we've not actually watched the trailer we've just seen a bit of it on advertised on the trailer last night so we wanted to watch it because Liam loves a war film a little bit yeah loves a bit of a history film so we're going to watch that and yesterday we found this shop that does loads of like American sweets and snacks and drinks and stuff so I found it. well Liam actually found it I just ate the tackies they were so nice they're like well they're like spicy crisps yeah very spicy. so good they're called tackies so we're going to get some more today um and sneak into cinema because duh i'm not paying all of that like who actually goes to cinema and buys cinema food like no so i completely forgot to finish off the vlog after we went to the cinema but that film was amazing it's just like so so clever and also i didn't even know like that happened obviously i don't want to give away the film but i didn't even like know about that at all um so it was so good especially if you enjoy like a history film it was so good like just incredible film um but i've had such a nice relaxing weekend i feel like it was so nice to have like four days off i can't wait for the next bank holiday already but um, yes, thank you so much for watching the vlog and I will speak to you in my next video.